Hiro-san. Yes. Good afternoon. Very good afternoon. <laughs> I'm saying you're lying now. Anyway, we have a delicious recipe. I can't wait to see what you're going to make out of this beautiful fish. Hiro, what are we making today? Yes, today we have a flounder here. Okay. This is a 3.5 pound. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty big, right? Wholesale cost is twelve fifty a pound, mm. three point five pounds, and total cost of like forty something, like forty three dollars. Yes. I was okay. expecting a little bit more small rounder, but yeah, yeah, this is a pretty big one. So, okay, yeah. First step I'm gonna do is scale off, then uh, take all the fillet out. So you can use uh, this one too, uh, but I'm going to use a knife today, and the uh, this thing before you start to scale off, you can cut off too. It's more easier if you're doing with the knife, especially this area, you know. But today, we are going to fry up the whole bone, head to tail and the fin, everything we like to fry. So I'm gonna leave these things on the body. Right? Okay. So, okay, so let's take off the scale. Is that hard to do? No, you want to try? <laughs> you can do it. No, but because uh, you won't cut into the, the meat of the fish, right? You just Yeah, just a scale. Yeah, just a scale. That's Th one. This is a skin, you know. Okay. If, if knife is um, sharp, very, very, very uh, easy. Okay. You, know? you, can, you can try too, if you want to. On the scale, Here, let's talk about the fish real quick. Mm. The eyes are on one side. On the one side. You see that? Yeah. This right side. here. And so how it happens is when they're born, whichever side they land on, that's the side that's... Yeah, that's I heard about. Uh, when, when when the fish was a touchdown. The first whatever moment. side it is, that's the way it is. Yeah, that's I heard about. But right. uh, long time ago, I heard a different story. <laughs> what other story did you hear? The right hand side. Yeah. Eyes going down to the right hand side, it's uh, like a holiday. Okay. And then the left hand side is a flounder. Flounder, okay. Now, some people are saying, but I, I don't know if that's a true or not. All right, interesting. We should find out. So, first of touchdown things, you know? Yeah. That I heard about that too, so.
Okay, I'm gonna take off the the gear. I'm gonna cut this here a little bit. Then, then I'm gonna take in off the the guts. This one, okay. Then I ju just wash it. You can see that. Yeah, I just wanna clean up here. Okay, so at the restaurant, every restaurant or each chef different way to preparation for the fish. So once after you got the fish, so you gotta scale off, okay, and then oh, and then guts off, and uh, gears off. Then uh, we just put uh, some uh, paper towel, or whatever. You just put in the stomach area. Then after you just wrap it up, okay, with uh, the paper, and then wrap it and keep it in the cooler. How long can it stay in the cooler for once you do this process? Uh, you can. Uh, so sushi restaurant, of course, you, you so, uh, soon as you can, you wanna use it. But uh, especially for the fried one, you can keep uh, four or five days okay. in the cooler. So I mean, the uh, doesn't necessarily too fresh for the fry, right? Right. So sashimi one is ready to go. Okay. Ready to go to the uh, sushi bar. The first thing is uh, go like this one and this side. And the uh, so the center, I'm gonna go like that. So this fish actually one side and two side, and then also another two on from on the other side. So I'll go like that. Then now I'm gonna go with the maybe bottom side. So little by little. I haven't touched this fish a long time. Yeah. No. Yeah. We never served it at the restaurant, so. Yeah. Okay, then this one. This area we call it Engawa. It's the most tasty part. You need to cut off the very nice way. So, first, I'm gonna do a guideline here from this side. Okay, I just want to do, put the guide line here. Two line on the side and here. Like that. Then you can go a little bit more deeper. Like 
Canada. Then actually you can you can finish from this side all the way. But I'm gonna show you from this side. Other side is actually the meter is getting a little kind of lower, right? So here, which one would you use for sashimi? I uh, go for with the sashimi this side. The top, the, yeah, the maybe side, sashimi right? this one, and uh, this engawa stuff from both side. Okay. And then uh, this one go for the tempura side. Okay. Mm. Meat looks a little tougher. No, meter is not not really tough, but. Uh, I mean, both are different flavor. All right, well, we come to this, after Hiro cleaned up the fish, we have a little visitor, parasite. It changes a lot of things here. We don't know how badly this fish is infected. Most people just remove it and then call it a day. But if you really care about your customers, this fish should not be served raw. Well, this is going to be the question. Are there any eggs anywhere else that we don't see with our own eyes? That is a question. Okay, next one I'm going to clean up uh, uh, filet. First, taking out this angle spot, the fin. This is a very nice area. So, then this one has another bone here in the center. Let's go like that, take off, then uh, skin off. Like 
down. Skin off. This one go for the 10 plus side. And this one also has to take it out. Just the end of the thing. Then next one also taking out the this bone. Then uh, skin off. Another side. Then here's another bone here. Then skin off. Okay, then skin off. Yes. All right, here you go. This is how it's done. Beautiful four pieces of fillet from this flounder. They call it harame fluke. And you gotta be careful when eating this. It does have parasites? They're very, very small, microscopic, and it could cause food poisoning. So just be very, very careful. All right, Hero. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, just uh, process for the uh, filet. Yeah. Oh. You guys want to see what Hero's going to do with this? You got to watch the upcoming video. It's going to make something delicious. Mm. And you guys are going to be in for a treat. Hero san, thank you so much. Hey, thank you very much. Japan no mina san, konnichiwa. Terada Sushi Dojo no Terada desu. え、今回ですね、日本のサブタイトルを入れてですね、新しいチャンネルスタートしました。オリジナルのチャンネルはダリアリーズオブアモスタ寿司シェフと言いますね。え、日本のね、サブタイトルを入れてですね、日本の皆